Hi, this is Steven Orlando. Uh, today I am going to show you the, um, the dialogue system that I uh, recently implemented for my new game, Novara X. Um, this is the uh, first um, dialogue system that I sort of built from scratch. The, uh, the one I had in TAG was sort of um, put together with tutorials and um, examples. So <clears throat> this time I, I ended up doing it from scratch. I'm, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm using Construct 2. I'm actually going to go into a little bit of detail on how I actually put it together. So if you are a Construct user, this might, and you want to, you know, know how to do something like this, this might be helpful. I'm not going to, you know, go step by step, but I'll kind of show you the workings of it a little bit. So um, in the game, this box here is blank unless you have a target. So I'm going to see. If, so if you hit a ship or an object it will bring up its information and this box will also double as um, a dialogue window so if another ship hails you um, it'll pause the game and their name will appear and whatever uh, uh, whatever they're saying and you can cycle through um, the dialogue I can have multiple uh, characters jump into the dialogue it will give the, their name it'll color their name based upon their um, if they're friendly to you or neutral to you or um, hostile towards you so they'll turn you know red if they're hostile and um, and of course their the pilots uh, icon will appear so I'm going to um, kind of show you step by step how I put this together so this is what uh, this is a sample of what the dialogue um, File text file will look like it's actually a PHP file, so I can access it uh, through cross servers. Um, <clears throat> so basically, it's uh, kind of set up so it has three columns, although not every it doesn't always use three columns. So um, each section um, is differentiated by just a word. So in this case, missions will be the keyword that will um, so this, the the game will know that these everything here are um, going to be the, the mission text that will play when you select the mission and then dialogue and then a number after that will differentiate the different uh, basically conversations uh, the number after that um, tells the computer or the game how many um, lines of dialogue will, how many lines that this group contains so 15 for this so far you know this dialogue one has three lines dialogue two here has four lines so by just populating this this PHP file um, and saving it, um, and oh by the way, the the, um, the vertical bars split the different um, basically their different cells out. So so this will be column zero, column zero, column zero. This will be column one. In the case of missions, I only need two, so this third column is basically blank. Down here for dialogue, I have the name of the uh, the person talking basically good, bad, or neutral will determine what color the text their, uh, their name will appear in um, and then their, their, what they actually say after that. So, um, so I can just continue to fill this in and, write, and then you know, the game will access this. <clears throat> this will be great for um, if I want to have multiple translations or if I decide you know, to change, uh, change some text, it'll be really easy just to pop in here and, uh, and change that. And this is the actual code uh, in Construct 2 for the dialogue system. Um, it really isn't, isn't that too complex. What it's doing is here, it is uh, at the start of the layout. <clears throat> if the array is blank, this basically just checks to make sure that it doesn't contain uh, this keyword. If it doesn't, then it's blank. It will request a P the PHP file from the local host, which will eventually be hosted uh, on the server with the game. Um, when that's completed, it runs a nested loop for the 2D array, which I've already set up, um, and basically I just put in uh, the height and the width. The width is three, the height will be however many uh, lines of dialogue are in that text file. And it puts in uh, a value using an expression built into Construct 2 called token at. So it, token at requ requires three, um, um, three variables basically. First it needs the text. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm pulling it. This is actually does a couple different things. This is saying it's the last data that was pulled in, which is this here, and it's actually before, it's taking that and it's replacing new line, which is basically a line break, 
with a blank space. So it's taking out all the line breaks automatically and putting it in here as, as the text for this token at. Then the next expression is the index. So the index is basically how many tokens in. To every token is a, a chunk of text between two vertical bars. So what it's doing here is it's, um, it's taking the, um, the height of, or so whatever, it's basically taking the y value for the nested loop, multiplying that by the width of the array, and adding that to the uh, x value for the, nest, uh, the nested loop. So it's going to be, that's basically, so as this runs through, it'll, it'll basically add one, two, three, then it moves down to the next line, and it'll um, you know, be uh, four, five, six, so it'll, it'll constantly be looking at the next token. And then it lets this last um, variable essentially is asking for, is what is the divider character? So whenever there's a vertical bar, that's when it knows that there's another um, token. So, so, that's, so the base, that's populating the array, um, and once the array is populated, I can then um, I can search it and I can you know um, display text and things like that. So this is just an error. So if I can't find that text or that PHP file, it'll let me know that there's an error. Um, and so so basically, once that's set, that's kind of like happens all at the beginning of the frame. Then at any time, I can simply um, um, if there's an event that occurs or anything, I can ch I can change this variable to dialog occurring uh, to one. And also there's another variable which essentially is um, dialog name, which is the, um, that little, um, the header of the, in, the, in the PHP file that, that determines which conversation to pick. So if it, and there it is there. So if dialog occurring equals one, I set that variable and I tell it which dialog name to look for. It will uh, search in the array from the top to bottom uh, for that name and only the zero column, which is the first column. As soon as it finds it, it sets this variable to the, which row that is. It determines how many lines is, are in that conversation based on that number that is next to the, the name. And it sets dialogue occurring to two, and it stops the loop, so it doesn't keep going. Then once dialogue occurring equals two, it will start displaying the text. So it starts by Put it, and there's two different text objects. There's one for the name of the person talking, and there's one for the actual text that they're saying. So it basically places in the dialog based upon the row, the the dialog row start variable, which is set here, and the current line of dialog, which is um, which every time you press Z, it adds one to that. So it kind of you know scrolls through all the dialog that's there. Um, once the dialog, um, the current, you know, di once this basically dialog current line equals the total number, it resets to dialog current three, which is basically just telling the system that, hey, the dialog is over now, so that you can have another event occur. Um, this other stuff is sort of game specific, it really isn't as important, but basically it, sets, it, it makes some different text boxes disappear and changes some colors of things. This is the good, bad, and neutral, it changes the color um, and things like that. So that's basically the code um, and how it is coded. Um, it really isn't too, it's a little, I mean, it's, it was a little complex for me to figure out at first. It's a kind of a mental game I had to play, but once I got it working, it's really not too bad. Um, but, uh, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it's working. I might eventually make it so that instead of just displaying, you know, each line all at once, it'll do the little typewriter effect. But, um, but yeah, so that's basically it for the, uh, the dialogue system.